Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to come to celebrate. We've actually just been crowned champions in the previous match but we're going to do one more match just to enjoy ourselves so no um, no pressure for this match. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. Obviously we will be happier with the win but it doesn't actually matter what the outcome is. Yeah, so we were crowned champions. That was a surprise. I was aiming for seventh at the start of the season but we just kind of shot up and stayed up the entire season so uh, well done to the team um we're going to jump straight into the match and then we're going to attempt to look at the end of season review and awards and all that just to see uh, how our players did so we are playing at home as well nice way to finish the season we don't actually need to look at the league table so let's see Maybe we'll put the visualizer next. And um, in general, our best players have been the defense, although not um, showing that example in this particular play. But uh, yeah, so our best players have been our defense and uh, goalkeeping attacks not been as great although Stephen White has scored a couple more than in last season I guess the guys just don't care now the uh, league is won therefore they're just having a nice jolly out there okay here goes Nolan he's not our main player on that side but Okay, White can score one more. And he scores one more. 14th goal of the season for Stephen White. Three more than last season. He's not going to be anywhere near the top goal scorers because I think he doesn't even come close to top 10, I don't think. So we have not scored many goals throughout the season, but we have um, not conceded many goals either. Therefore, it all checks out. Uh, let's see if, if the visualizer is better. Mm, not really. Come on, a third goal. There we go. We're trying for it. <coughs> Here we go. Stephen White is going to be cut off though. To Nolan. Nolan can cross into Stephen White. And the computer has a bit of a wobble right now. I'm just going to check if anything else is drawing on power. Close a few applications. Yes, yeah, so it's been quite exciting to see that we we are obviously promoted. Now the transfer and wage budgets for next season aren't very exciting we have 500 pounds <laughs> for our transfer budget which obviously means that we have no transfer budget um they the board has made maybe 3k a week more available obviously all of this comes down to the fact that the money has sorry the club has no money um, the current owners keep resisting the temptation to sell. Um, they are investing, but they're not investing enough to draw us out of um, to draw us out of the red, and we don't have enough income to draw us out of the red either. So, constantly in the red throughout, uh, I think the past two or three seasons, actually. Uh, which means we're not able to buy any decent players, but we are making 
we're making the best of what we have, as can be demonstrated by our current position. Actually, I don't need to do that just yet. Let's carry on as before. The second half now, let's make our first sub. There we go, Ten minutes in, five minutes in. We had a little bit of a wobble towards the end of the season, but we were able to maintain our position um, because of all the hard work we did in the middle, in the mid-season. Um, so, so that was fine. Whoopa! That was a monumental mistake by everybody involved. <laughs> So let's see. We have the a one on one essentially. The defender kicks it back against the other player, and the keeper takes a while to react and go back to his position in goal. So, yeah, lots of mistakes there. Okay, final subs. Uh, I'm going to take out these two guys. So. Bradley and I think I'm just going to do that. Keep White in, but on the right side, that's fine. He's not going to be able to score any goals from there, but he can at least support. <coughs> it looks like we're going to end the season with a loss. Which kind of adds to our sort of the last few weeks have been a bit of a struggle to win any matches. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. Okay, but that doesn't affect anything. The outcome of that match was completely irrelevant. Just um, helpful for Chesterfield themselves. There we go. Um. Let's have a look at the schedule first of all. So we had a f like, yeah, after we got knocked out in December, we had a few losses, but then towards the end of the season, we had a bit of a struggle holding on to that first position. Uh, we had quite a solid month there of uh, January. So yeah, not not great, just the, the end of the season. We had a struggle, but it all paid off. There we go. New arrivals. Yeah, Douglas Madden, our centre back, and the two goalkeepers. Nice. I agree with that. Yeah, we need more money. We made more money than in the previous season, but only because in the previous season we basically lost out on all the competitions. We got knocked out of all of them early on. McBride, which only played the second half of the season, just come. Pope. Pope barely played this season, so that's surprising. Okay, no goalkeepers there, even though the goalkeepers have been the real heroes here, but... All right, I had two managers of the month so far. Obviously, we don't know the awards yet for the rest of the um, the the rest of the teams are still playing the playoffs. But yeah, anyway, fan play of the season, Matthew Horn, the left fullback. Young play of the season, the centre back, Mikael Nussbaumer. Uh, goal of the season by Giscom, top goal scorer, fourteen goals for Stephen White. Not great. But better than last season. Most assists. I think it was actually we just we had we have sold them now. It was Antoniazzi. He had eleven assists um, when he left. But now, obviously, because we sold them, then it's kind of went to the next person. So Alex Sulemano with five. It doesn't make sense because he's defender midfielder anyway. Most player uh, of the match. Seven for the centre back Harry. Harry again with the best average rating. 
and most passes completed the defensive midfielder which makes total sense because all they do is pass the ball now we are making history because we won Skybet League 2 which means in the next uh, season we'll be in Skybet League 1 and we're probably going to struggle to stay there uh, so we are hoping to rely on under 23s uh, this has been here for a while, so this isn't a five-year plan, but this has been there for two... This will be the third season going. That this um, And this is fulfilled by the board anyway, so we don't have any say in this. Fight bravely against relegation. Repair the financial damage. Well, that's not really up to me. All I can do is sell players, but I can't sell players before all that money. Okay, I'm going to negotiate and try and get rid have some of these. Oh, got rid of quite a lot of them. Come on. Okay. So we're going to have to play high tempo and possessive football, which is absolutely fine. We don't have to rely on under 23s, which is great. Okay, now end of the season plans. I think... Um... I think I'm going to use this one. I'm so happy with the promotion, but I know how hard it will be playing at a higher level. With that in mind, I'll be strengthening the squad to help our chances of staying up. I think I have to play this one. Yeah, they're happy with that too. Okay, no promises. Have a good break. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to wait for the final season awards to see if we get any. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming maybe our goalkeepers will be in the um, team of the year, but I don't think they'll get any actual best player awards or anything like that. Okay, let's move on from this. It'll take a while because the playoffs have been played. Um, I don't know what the timeline is actually for the playoffs. Let's have a look. So. Uh, So we're still a while away from it. Just gonna have to keep moving forward until the end of May. I don't know why I keep getting news because oh, he's on a short list. Okay, I don't even know who this kid is. And then straight after that, I'm going to send back all the loanies to their respective clubs, so we save some money. So at the moment, if you look at the transfer budget, we have, we got bumped up about 3k, and we have no transfer budget. So we avoided a tax hit. We have got two new deals, sponsorship deals. We have exactly the same scouting budget or thereabouts. Uh, respond. I have no interest in the job. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay. It's so annoying how the game keeps stopping for everything. 
I don't know if you find that, but I find it a little bit annoying. Just take me to the next big thing. Uh, Peddington's retired, so he was a lonely. He is now a director of football. Nice. He was our one of our um, uh, right fullbacks. All right, so the FA Cup final has been played. We're going to get some sort of news item about that, I'm sure. We're not mentioning it. Okay, no. We didn't do anything special. We just got through to the second round, so as expected. Okay, another cash injection. Yeah, nowhere near enough to get us up to where we need to be. Okay, so where's the league now? We haven't repaired the first... <laughs> anyway, this keep, this is a bit of a bug, I think. Um, so, competitions, let's look at this again. So the final is on the 28th. And that's when we'll get the awards, I think. All right, here we go. Chesterfield is playing against Lincoln for the playoff final, and Chesterfield wins. So we should very soon... Oh, wow. Iron Curtain. That's the least conceded... Con yeah, least conceded goals, I think. So here we go. We're making a little bit of money from Solidarity Payments. Still not enough for... Covering our star man. Okay, here we go. So we have, oh, not a goalkeeper, but at the defensive. Yeah, so the le left full back. Everything, everyone else is Exeter pretty much. Okay, so that's the only um, award we got, I think. View awards. Um, uh, manager of the season. Uh, it w yeah, it was awarded to Exeter. So I didn't get anything at all. Even though I won the league. Clearly I should have got the award. But anyway. Anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. Can't complain. I'm just going to terminate some of the oh I can't okay I have to wait for the window to open but yeah we didn't get I also at least I'll, I'll get manager of the year and um, we only got one of our players into the um, squad of the year which is a little bit disappointing but we are through to sky bet league one finally after I think three seasons uh, being in this league it was actually a lot better than I thought we would do. And yeah, we'll be looking forward to playing in the higher league. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out Patreon. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye.